I'm a professorial fellow at Charles Darwin University here in Darwin and my major research interests are in the global ecology of ant communities. The biomass of ants is much greater than the combined biomass of all the lizards, birds, other reptiles and mammals combined. And ants play really important roles in all aspects of the functioning of ecosystems from creating soils, maintaining soil health, turning over nutrients, playing really important roles in the growth and reproduction of plants. Australia is a global centre of ant diversity. We are the kingdom of the ant, that we have probably 10,000 ant species, but the vast majority are undescribed. In fact, never before been collected which is quite remarkable for such an important um, group of little creatures. And so one of my pet interests throughout my career has been to document the true extent of ant diversity in Australia. I've had a number of ant species named after me. I've had uh, about six, and a couple of them um, are really quite interesting, got some fascinating stories. So one of them, um, its name is Colobopsis anderson I. It belongs to a group of ants that nest in the hollow twigs of trees, furthest out towards sea, which means that every tidal cycle they're flooded by the tide. And this particular group of ants is really unusual in that there's a specialised worker that has a plug head, a cork shaped head, it looks remarkably just like a cork, which it uses to plug the nest entrances to stop the tide from coming in, which is you know, pretty, pretty amazing. It's obviously a great honour to be the first scientist in the NT to be elected to the Academy and, and you know, I'm, I'm really thrilled. The NT is such a fabulous place to be a biodiversity scientist because it really is um, an ecological frontier.